Oh hi, I didn't see you there. So I thought. <laughs> That's a run and roll record, and he takes the win. Um, I thought today I would go through um, like a bit more of a recovery video. I'm going to take you on my run. It's only um, five miles easy, so it's pretty much a recovery run. And then I'm just going to go through literally like every single thing I've been doing whilst I've been out here to try and get the best out of my training. Um, so, tip number one, warm up. Take it easy. You can hold a conversation for the whole time you're running, just like I am right now. Then you're taking it easy. Next step, keep active. Just carry on walking for a bit so that the muscles just loosen up. Eat and drink. Why I do all my wings is put in two hydration tablets into it. Depending on what one, it could be just one. But these ones are quite thin. Just drop them in there. And that gives you all the electrolytes. Um, this actually gives me carbs as well. Uh, Potassium, vitamins, chloride, sodium. It's got actually quite a bit of sodium in it, which is perfect for keeping your water retention up and making you more hydrated than normal water would be. Or just eat a load of salt, but that's a bit grim. So I just leave them to dissolve. And then I try and eat as much, well, not as much as possible, but whatever I fancy after a run. Cashews are amazing. They have protein in them. You don't need many of them. I mean, I've probably got like a couple of handfuls here. Uh, and they're just like so rich in fats and like good things for you. Um, and they're just really tasty as well. So, if you haven't guessed, the last step is ice bath. This thing is bloody freezing. It's so good to take time. Pretty strong. Just get carried away. <laughs> Waterfall. I think it's up there. I hope it is anyway. If not, then it's just all the way up. Oh. 
is all the way down. It's amazing. It's the town. So this is like the upper town. So this is somewhere it's dwarf. And then down there is Sankt Moritz uh, Bad. Don't ask me what it means. Maybe it's below and above. Anyone that speaks German or Swiss comment in the <laughs> comments below what that means. If it means above and below, then I'm a genius. If it doesn't, then fair enough. 